Only five yards away, lined up at the 30 and 35 yard line. Ball taken at the two yard line. Brown fakes the reverse. Stumbled a bit, but he takes it out to the 34 yard line. All the animals are running. Back to began. Took a shot and surged forward. He ran right through the would be tackle of Donald Payne to pick up the first down. Third and 14. Pass. Able to find his running back Patrick who gets taken down. Greg, I would also think that both coordinators he's along the line of scrimmage. Red Wing, the Aussie lefty gives it away. Here's Joe Powell asking for a fair catch. A touchback and bring it all the way out to the 35 yard line. Wrap it right around right there. With this look, you have a middle safety. You probably don't want to be looking in that direction. Play clock almost ran out. And it's almost picked. Fantastic break on the ball by Luke Barku. Drew Bonds back to receive this bunt, punt from Marquette King. Ball's going to carry. Take it at about the 18. He had the Lambert assignment a moment ago. Pass. That is complete. Finds T.J. Vasher for the first down. On third and five, pass delivers it on the money for the first down to Akers. And he pinballs his way down to the 25. Your banker. Just signed with San Antonio Thursday. He's their backup. And the pass on the run again. And he picks up another first down. And that's been the most dangerous aspect of their game. 19 yards over the last two QB one runs. Pressure from the edge. Man coverage and incomplete. John Parker Romo, 29 yard attempt. The under is looking real nice, Clark. <laughs> Three nothing. Don't one cash that ticket yet. <laughs> no, it's hang up. in there. Just All for playing both guys, because if Juwan Pass keeps playing like that, it's going to be a tough guy to put on the bench. Eddie Brown just joined the Arlington team, active for the first time. It's up to the 24. We've got Heinz Ward mic'd up today. Right over the middle. Make sure you keep an eye on that safety lurking. San Antonio almost got a pick last time. Bought some time, and it's incomplete. Here's Barco the coverage again on the same play. Victor Bolton, the intended receiver. Oh, buddy, turn around. <laughs> That's a TV and a football guy in one right there. That's right. All day. Terrell Bonds from the 31. Great speed on the sideline. And Bonds stepped out of bounds. And there's a flag all the way back to the 29. But during the return, holding receiving team number one. Ten-yard penalty. It's first and ten. That's and you, the end of the first quarter. And you hear how that's a similar play right here. What is it? Oh, man, Rush. Baker trying to get out of there. The spin move. That got him a few more before he took the hit from Payne. Banker last time throwing competitively was at the NFL Combine. He was one of two veteran quarterbacks invited in to throw the receivers. Starting quarterback and the backup quarterback. And that guy is as important to you playing well as anybody on that sideline. Now Hall, big speed, showing it off. Speed it all out to the 44. Let's get to Katie. We're waiting. There's the drag, and just round him to Arcanado. In there a couple times, haven't been able to get it completed. To Canella, and a big hit and a flag coming. King skies this one. And a fair catch taken at the 11 yard line by Landon Akers. 32 yard punt. What is it? Here comes pressure on third and two. Got rid of it in time, but it's a little too high. And Deion Yelder couldn't. San Antonio kicked the field goal on its second possession, but three out of the four possessions have ended in a punt. Here's Powell, the 30. First two, first three miss. Stays on his feet. 
And Joe Powell carries it all the way to midfield. Yesterday. Back 80. Ball's on the ground. San Antonio with the scoop. And Jordan Williams is going to take it to the house. 39 yard fumble return after Dante Scott forced it out. From a pass back in a quarterback. Incomplete. Trying to find Vasher. Right here over the middle. On a little bit of an option route. Slaughter is able to find Brandon Arcanado. And that's good for an Arlington first. Third and two. Deep ball. Incomplete. Coverage downfield by San Antonio's Terrell Bonds. Marquette King. Fred Brown immediately swallowed part of Terrell Bonds. He goes down. There is a flag on the play down at the 20. Third down for San Antonio. Pass incomplete. Trying to find Landon Akers. He is still trending towards the under. Red Wings punt is a line drive. Pushes Joe Powell back to the 14 yard line. Type of dog concept, or it could be a music concept. I have no idea. 32, Sloaner incomplete. Broken up by Bonds. Music theme. <laughs> King skies this one. Bonds. The 15. I love you trying to figure this stuff out on the fly. Some is common, some is proprietary, some is brand new by team. <laughs> what do you do with paint? Draw? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. I know how to draw. Yeah. There you go. I was on charcoal, but. <laughs> John Hillman on the draw. Near field goal range. Our 10th punt of the first half. Powell yeah. finds it. Up to the first, and it's taken down at the 25 yard line. Once again, going the wrong direction. Time for some Capri Suns and orange slices. We hit the half. San Antonio with a 9 0 lead. Probably San Antonio to kick to start the second half. And the Renegades will have an opportunity. They've played two different quarterbacks here this game. And that return out to the 26-yard line. Let's take it. Ready. Cliff played his college ball at Ball State, then had an opportunity with the Colts at the NFL level, and Damian Smith with a flag coming in. Here, Dean Blandino, this official. Personal crew. foul, face mask, defense, the 15-yard penalty will be added to the dead ball spot, automatic first down. Some room from Damian Smith, and he picks up the first down. Gain of 13, back-to-back -back first downs for Arlington. Should have an opportunity to work him in man-to-man. -man. And batted away, trying to fit it into Vader as running behind him. And Canella thought he was wide open. Arlington, long of 43 this season for Russellino, and this one is. Good from deep. Taylor Russellino bangs it through from 53. And the Renegades, who went punt, 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 fumble, punt in the first half, open the second half with a scoring drive. Renegades real scoreless in the first half for the first time this season. Fred Brown from the seven. Take it down at the 20. Line Line is it. Pressure from the edge, picked up. Baker steps up and intercepted! Picked up by Donald Payne! And the Renegades have their hands on the momentum now. Second in the league with 13 takeaways, this Arlington defense, and here's this pass to Damian Smith. And on the screen, he's gonna take it down to the 15 yard line. Pressure coming, Flint lets it go in zone. Wow! What an unbelievable grab by the one Winningham! And he launched it into the stands! Six
16-yard strike. What an unbelievable catch by Winningham. I don't even know how he sees it. The defender's right between him and the football. Throws his arms up, reels it in. What an incredible play. 19. Momentum's a funny thing in football. Arlington was missing it, missing a sense of urgency. Came out the second half, got a field goal. And then the takeaway and the touchdown. And now we're tied at nine, and they think the ball came out again. Sal Canelo says it belongs to Arlington. The ruling on the field is the runner was down by rule. First down. Got it off just in time. Pass a little bit low. And you got to think that his challenges with the clock lead to some rush decision making after the snap. Yeah. Brad Wing gets into this one and angles it over the shoulder catch. Victor Bolton taken down by the first man there. Third and two. Play action. And that's good for an Arlington first down and the connection to Nate Becker. He's gone with it. Go to draw. And another flag comes in from the backside. Holding offense, number 56, 10 yard penalty, replay third down. Marquette King. Here's Ravines. Marks finds the sideline and dances out of bounds. Juan Pass trying to draw it up on his own. Says just go deep and can't hook up with Basher again. Joe Powell takes it at the nine yard line. And that'll cost him some yardage. Touchback would have taken it out to the 35. Hey, you got that guy? It's a third and one. And it's a first down carry by Letty Brown. Philadelphia native from Newman Garetti and then West Virginia. Sal Canella should be your guy in the slot up top. A third and eight looking for Canella. And it's tipped at the line of scrimmage. Thought it was hitting ahead. This is something that Kyle Stewart. Bob Stoops a defensive guy. I don't think I don't think he views that as roughing the passer, that's for sure. It'll take a high hop. Bonds picks up a couple for a 48-yard punt. We're top one catch. It was Hines Ward gonna pump up his quarterback. Draw pass. Now Kurt Bankert is in, and Bankert's gonna float one deep downfield. And it is incomplete with a flag for pass interference. And San Antonio is going to turn this into great field position. Pass interference. Defense, Defense number 24. 24. Spot, Spot foul. foul. Automatic first down. A 32 to throw. Incomplete. Yeah, we just didn't see it. Thanks for time. Appreciate the insight. 45 yard attempt. And that is good. San Antonio didn't get the call. Hines lost his challenge, but they reclaimed the lead. And Arlington looking for a big return. John Parker Lomo's had a big leg in this from two made field goals. His wife is in the stands with Cole. That one feels cozy right now. 33 feels real cozy. Hold for Letty Brown and a first down run for the Renegades. Push the ball down the field. There it is. And he's open. Call for the first down. Javante Payton. And a 48 yard strike for the Renegades. One with him on the face. That should be a touchdown. Looking there the whole way. Canella. Batted around and it hit the turf. 
Barku had the coverage. 53. This is a 36 yard attempt. 8 of 9 on the season, and it stays wide. He never had it. And San Antonio holds on to a three point lead with under four minutes to play. Here. Wide exit. And they're going to try to grind this win out. Patrick with a first down run, and he slides down inbound smartly. Three point play. Nine point game, still a one possession ball game. Patrick bottled up, no longer. Squirts through and picks up the first down. 27 yard field goal with no gain. Patrick will take the Wildcat again. This time he hands it off and they'll take a quick timeout. John Hillman with the carry. Wing the holder, got the distance, and he splits it. Got that girl dad power and San Antonio now leads by six. A six point lead. Arlington's offense has been quiet this afternoon. It's special teams yardage, but a flag down at the end of that return. During the return holding, receiving team number 18. 10 yard penalty, it's first and 10. Second and nine. Well, timeouts remaining for the Renegades. Complete to Caleb Vanderash, and he takes it to the 42. Walk stops, obviously under two men. Then setting up the screen. Here's Letty Brown. Brown's got a first down. And an extra pushing on the edge. And if that's on Fulkerts, the center, we'll the court, should the wipe it off. Yeah, no, no, we got it, we got it. The result of the play is a first down. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Offense number 64. After the 15-yard penalty, it's first and 10. Now, all go. Third and long. He's got to push it down the field. All go. Ball's got to come out. Split to his running back. 20 seconds left. Damian Smith picks up the first down. 17 seconds left. And up there, Spike and Bill. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Daytona. It's at one, and they finally get it off. Blit fires, intercepted. Bramage with another takeaway. Teddy Adeluce and San Antonio in a must win game. Rides its defense to a 15 to 9 final. Results in it. Game ending interception. And going back to Plitt's perspective, it sounded like a play call came in late that he didn't think was a great call. Instead of getting on the ball, they waited, and that turned into a rush when the play clock was low. It just seemed like they, they, were, they couldn't quite get it communicated fast enough. Just a really disappointing way for a great game to end on a miscommunication.